it's still very jarring to walk into a quiet building every single time I come. The lights haven't shined at World Cafe Live since March 12th. The independent music venue on Walnut Street in University City once boasted hundreds of bands and performers gracing its stage every year. We were doing 15, 20 events a week. There was always motion, always movement, always looking towards the next thing. Carrie Park, the general manager, tells me the next thing these days is assessing Philadelphia's new rules on indoor gatherings, 10% of maximum capacity. Down here, we'd be able to have about 65 people, and that includes any staff, any performers, as well as any guests. We have a lot of fixed costs, rent, mortgages, utilities, payroll, artist payments, all of these things are not on a sliding scale based on capacity of guests we're allowed to host. These are all fixed costs and functioning at that level just does not make sense for us financially. So if World Cafe Live can't have patrons back here, then how do they keep the doors open, the lights on during this pandemic? What we really need is relief. We were very fortunate to have bipartisan support for our Save Our Stages Act federally. This legislation would be a game changer. It calls for $10 billion for Broadway, theaters, performing arts venues, all independently owned all across the nation. World Cafe Live helped to form NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association, to lobby Washington to keep this fabric of so many communities threaded. There's really nothing like the reaction of someone watching their favorite artist perform or their favorite comedian perform. Art is so healing. Until it's safe to gather once again, the lights will be out at World Although, Cafe Live. I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News.